Okay everyone, so the sun, it looks like the sun is coming back out. Um, I hope it stays out because I really want to get this video filmed um, completely today. So I want to start on the left side of my room just so I know that I, if I start on the left and I make my way around the room, I know that I have, I have everything covered. So um, when you first walk into my room, you will walk into a collage of photos of friends and family and um, this is actually unfinished. I started this when I first moved here and just kept putting it off to the point where I just never got around to it. Um, so I do plan to my new place to um, actually finish it because I have about five more frames that I want to add. Um, the chalkboard I got from Michaels, it was on sale for about $3. I'm going back because I actually want one more. It's going to be in a different shape and I just plan to write quotes on both of them quotes that inspired me and quotes that really pushed me to not procrastinate um, and to really just get things done in life and, and to enjoy life and that's just something I wrote there very quickly when I first got it um, and then I just have this letter K because obviously my name starts with K and I want to say I got that from TJ Maxx and it may have been like Tuesday mornings but it's from one of those stores and that's just my bathroom, which we're not going to go into. Um, and then behind, or in the same hallway behind my door, I just have a shoe organizer. These shoes are put here on purpose because these are, um, one, shoes that are extremely comfortable, and two, about three or four pair of these I wear to work. Um, so it just makes it easy as I'm walking out my room. And then here I have all of my scarves. I kind of wanted these hidden away so I felt like behind the door um, and a smart way to use the wall space which is just to put these right here because one because the door shuts on this area nobody can really see anything if I had like pictures or something right here um, so I felt like scarves would be the most um, appropriate so leaving this area um, I have a little fan there that's actually new and it comes with a remote and I'm seriously in love uh, because it blows out like crazy for this to be such a little guy and then here I have um, Betty that's what I used to call her I kind of want to rename her but she is an iron mannequin that holds all of my necklaces and it's so funny when people come up for the first time they're like oh my god what is this um, and where did you get it from and when I was moving like the movers were like what is this and I'm like it's it just holds my jewelry um, I got this from Ross I want to say two three years ago and she just has like little purple rhinestones but she holds all of my big bulky necklaces my statement necklaces my you know necklaces that can get really tangled and you know I, I love it and she holds sunglasses and things like that that don't have cases then down here um, is just a trunk. This I got from Ross when I first um, moved out on my own, which is about four or five years ago. And I always keep the handbag that I'm wearing for the day on top, as I'm just it just makes it really easy as I'm leaving out of my room. And um, inside, I just keep socks and um, night tops, so tops, tanks, and long sleeves stuff that I wear to bed is on that side of the trunk. And then here down here are just um, a little bit of my shoe collection. These shoes just can't fit in my closet. So I felt like why not utilize this space. And then above, which is a complete eyesore, is my TV. Um, my grandfather put this up for me. Um, I really thank him for that because I didn't know where my TV was gonna go when I first moved in because initially it was on the floor and I was like, oh, well the bed's over there, we can't do that. So I came up, I just thought to myself like, why not just put it on the shelf? Because I don't know if my granddad knows how to mount TVs on the wall where the wires don't show. Um, I'm assuming he doesn't because he didn't come up with the idea, but this works. And then I just have like two candles up here. Candle holders are from Big Lots and um, I have the remotes to my TV, the box, and then my fan. So, and actually this TV, if you're interested, this is a 32 inch sharp. I'm thinking about posting this on Craigslist. If I do and you are in Georgia and you would like this TV, um, the link will be down below. Uh, and the reason why I'm giving, I want to sell it is because I want to upgrade. I want a bigger bedroom TV. Then I just have like simple paper lamps around the room from Ikea. 
and then this first chest drawer um, which is actually new I got this one when I first moved here because um, one of the guys that helped me move actually broke my other one and it was black like this one but this one is a dark uh, brown or black brown and the, if you can see it actually has like a pattern whereas this one is just solid so yeah um, I had to get a new one um, and this one obviously just holds clothes and things of that matter um, these are organized to a T looks like there's something hanging out right now um, but these are pretty organized and they're very spacious uh, I plan to do a tutorial on making dividers for this because when I move I plan to um, reorganize both of the chest drawers but yeah Ikea I want to say for like 150 um, this is actually new which is why it has the clearance tag on the side there um, but this is um, a decoration tray from Target and I got it for $11.88 and I just thought this was perfect to keep my fragrance in place on top of my dresser because prior to having this they just kind of sat up there but I feel like this keeps them more confined which is what I really like and then this is a jewelry holder it's supposed to hold either earrings or necklaces I just decided to put all of my dangling earrings on here because they used to be at the bottom of her dress but I just decided that I no longer wanted that so when I was in Ross I saw this um, and it just has some little uh, owls on top and the earrings hang from the leaves and inside the tray I just keep um, rings and earrings that can't fit on my earring racks. Um, this is actually filled with mini earrings. These I use just for the cartilage part of my ear. So there, there's about like 30 of those in here because those, one, I get them very cheap so when they turn colors I can just throw them out and get a new pair out of here. And then these two boxes I got from Ross as well probably a couple of years ago. Um, this one holds my gold and silver bangles and the one under it which are about to be like whoa this one this one holds all of my colorful and wood bangles I have not touched anything in this box in probably like a year or two so I will be listing this entire box on eBay like every last bangle I want to sell it in bulk so um, unfortunately individualizing them would just be way too much and then without it getting like super bright um, this is just the window I really love my curtains I got these I want to say from Dollar General a couple of years ago um, but I love them and I got these from Ross the curtain holders with the little crystal ball I got these when I first both of these actually when I first moved out on my own and then down here is a little mess um, <laughs> the starter to my car and things like that and some fragrance wipes but um, I like having the candles on the end here this one looks like it's about to fall um, these are obviously artificial candles um, with the LED lights you just snap them on you can have them on a timer or you can have them running as long as you want but these I like having um, at the window so at night you know if I want to you know have like a little candle theme without actually having to smell a candle I cut these on and then on the side of my bed, um, first I have another jewelry organizer, which is really random to have it on this wall, but I felt like this was the only place that I could put this up. Um, and this just holds a lot more jewelry, mostly necklaces. You might find some bracelets and some earrings in here, but most of it is strictly jewelry. And then on the back here is even more jewelry. Um, and then down here, um, starting with the cube, the cube actually came, I want to say, no, they didn't come in two. Um, I actually have two of these, but they came separately and I got them from Ross. Um, inside, I have strictly nothing but white tops, white tank tops, white short sleeve, white long sleeve. Um, I tend to wear white tops and undershirts a lot, so instead of having to search through my dressers and the closet I like have them all thrown in here they don't have to be iron they don't have to be anything because usually I wear them as an undershirt so they're all tossed in there and it's nice because when I want to wear white I know I can just go to this one box right here and then these two cases hold my um, one pair of my eyeglasses and a pair of shades the other pair of my eyeglasses and shades I have a pair of my car as well um, I'm really hoping that I can find this same exact case again in the future because I want two more because like I just said I have two pair of glasses and I have two pair of shades so I want to find two more of these same exact cases which I got from Ross by the way um, to put those in 
this is just randomly here I'm actually moving in a month so some things are in places that they usually wouldn't be but this is just a really cute owl um, I got this from TJ Maxx. Yeah, TJ Maxx for $10 not too long ago. Um, in my new place, I do plan to put floating bookshelves like in this area on the wall. And this is going to go on the floating bookshelf with some flowers, some artificial flowers. Um, this is a bracelet and watch stand that I got from Ross, I want to say about a year year to year and a half two years ago um, I actually have three of these um, this one I purchased myself and the other two I got from Ulta they no longer need it there so they gave me gave them to me um, they're the same exact thing they just come individualized but um, I started growing a watch collection late last year and I just noticed that um, I need the spot for them so I purchased this for about $15 at Ross and then above my bed I just have you know the sconces with some those are real candles um, they're supposed to be vanilla scent but who knows they've been up there for a while so they're probably um, really no longer any good which is cool because I just got them from Dollar Tree so it doesn't matter and then this mirror I got I think over two a year and a half ago maybe two years I got it from Marshalls if not TJ Maxx it was originally white and it was distressed with like gray marks on the frame but because obviously my room is majorly black um, I spray painted it black I actually need to go through and scrape off the black that I got on the mirror but th that's just one coat I actually have to go back and spray paint a second coat and I got it in matte black because to me matte black looks better than like like a sh like a shiny finish so the sconces I got from Ross and I'm thinking about listing these on eBay too because I think I want to upgrade those as well and then my bed is from American Freight. It's a black sleigh bed. I can't tell you. I had this bed for going on five years. And when I before I first moved out, I was looking for a bed and I saw this bed and said, I want this bed. Um, and I went to American Signature first and they told me it was going to be like a three month wait. It ended up never happening. So luckily I found it at American Freight. However, I am ready for a new bed. I want a tufted bed and I don't want a sleigh bed anymore. So I don't want the footboard part of the bed anymore. So this will also be listed on Craigslist um, along with the mattress. I've had the mattress for five years. The bed and the mattress I've had for the same amount of time, but they're both still really in good condition. So um, this too will be listed on Craigslist, Craigslist to get rid of. Um, and then the whole pillow set, I got from Ross it actually came with a comforter um, that matched the pillow set these actually if you can tell they don't go together but I really love the damask print so I always try to find things that are very similar to that print but hopefully I can just get rid of everything on this bed um, and just get the bed that I really want and uh, the comforter set that I really want so on the side of my bed I have another cube and this cube holds nothing but uh, back stock beauty products so I have an overflow of beauty products I work in the beauty industry I get a lot of things for free um, and then also I shop and get a lot of things on great deals so I just stuff them all in there um, but on top of here I have an old cell phone this isn't my first cell phone but it's one of my first cell phones and oh somebody's calling me Go. Okay, sorry about that. Those were the move, the, the moving company. Um, but yeah, so what I was saying was this is my backup alarm clock. So I set my iPhone if I have to be up early in the morning, like a time that I usually just don't wake up on my own. Um, but I also set the same on this phone just in case something weird goes on with my phone overnight because you just never know. So that's why I still keep this phone till this day. Um, and then back here, I just have... Um, the Derma Doctor Shrinking Beauty. Um, this is supposed to be like some thigh fat cellulite reducing thing, but I really don't use it to really see results. Um, that's baby oil, that's lotion, and that is a prescription. Um, and I just like to keep out moisturizers just in case I look at my skin while I'm in bed or getting ready to leave out and I'm just like gross. And then here is, um, the first thing is the Daily Devotional. You read this every single day. And then this is another book that I'm reading. I'm trying to get through because I really don't like it as much. Um, I'm halfway through it. And this is my journal. I have been a journal writer since the freaking day I was born. That's like my a millionth journal. So I just keep those on the bed because I 
love to read and write before going to bed. Um, and on the side of the bed is just a piggy bank, my iPad keyboard, and packs of gum. And then this area is obviously my vanity. Um, starting from the right, this is the Japanese brush uh, spot cleaner. Um, I just have one of those nail polish pumps in the bigger bottle in my bathroom. This I'm actually about to return. This I got from Ross and it's an organizer. I thought that this would be big enough for my shadows, but I have way more shadows that need to go in here and obviously they can't fit. So I'm gonna be taking this back. And then behind it, I have more makeup, more lip products. Um, and then on the side of it, I just have a candle holder that I just got from Bell's Outlet that will be going on the floating bookshelves um, in my next place. And then I have my mirror. Luna. Um, this mirror I got a while back from Hobby Lobby. I kind of want a bigger mirror now. I feel like this one is too small. I'm going to sit down. Um, and this is not the chair that goes in my vanity, but because I live with someone, um, I threw away the old chair that I had. I don't know, but this was my this is my office chair, but I have it in here for now. Uh, and this pillow I got from Michael. He's not watching this, but hey, Michael, thank you. Um, I met him gosh like three years ago maybe um and literally we met a couple of months before my birthday and this is what he got me for my birthday and i still have it till this day um and then at sitting down at my vanity i just got this tray this is by sonia kashuk i think that's how you pronounce her last name but um this is a vanity tray that i just got on clearance at target and it just has the current foundation that i'm wearing uh one of the primers that i'm using oh my god guys i'm not going to do a makeup you know collection thing right now but oh my gosh <laughs> can't even open it look at all these primers there's a primer right here you probably can't see primer here two back there primer here primer here i mean it's like ridiculous primers up there with my foundations um but yeah <laughs> primers everywhere um i actually got these all for free they were all um gifted to me um these i just bought they're by pop beauty um, Ulta is getting rid of the line, so these were 50% off, and they're just um, makeup sponges, and it vibrates, but we'll talk about that later. Um, and then I just have a little Bath and Body Works mini candle, candle holder, and then here I have all my brushes and my eye products in these four. And I love these as brush holders. I seriously do. I just love acrylic pretty much anything. I just feel like it just blends well with anything, and it looks really clean if you select the right pieces. And then I just have my iPad here and then I have a Pop Beauty lip gloss that I'm wearing today. Um, and it doesn't say what, oh, it's Peony Petal or something like that. And I'm just charging my iPad. Um, and then down below, once again, cause I'm moving, I have things in like random spots, but those are just off supplies like Sharpies, pencils, pens. Um, that's a new pencil holder and that's chalk for my chalkboard. Um, that's my nail kit down here that holds like all of my gel nail machines and polishes. And on top is just a whole box of batteries. So um, once I move, I'll be so happy when I can put things in its correct place. So that's all of that. And then this is my closet, but I'm not going to go in there. It looks a hot mess because I've already started packing. Um, on the side, I just have this damask print clipboard because usually I'm sitting here writing notes. And instead of having to search for a pen and paper, I have it right there to my wall. And then I just have more shoes. I really want another shoe rack that's black like this with the mesh so you can see what the shoes look like. I love this, but I cannot find, I got this one from Kmart like a few years ago, but I want two more to replace the other two that I have. So that's what that is. And then under my bed, um, we have another bag of shoes. <laughs> a whole bunch of shoes. Oh wait. Oh, it doesn't wanna. Okay, and then that's like another journal down there, a journal that I just finished writing in. And then on this side of the bed, I have more shoes. I know you're probably thinking, what? Yeah, wait till you see my closet because I have more shoes in there. Um, but that's that. And then on this side of the room, 
This is my second chest drawer. The original. Oh my gosh. I really I mean I like this color, but I really miss the solid black. Like this is just amazing. Um so this um I just got from Target like the other day. It was on clearance for like a dollar fifty. There's nothing in it right now. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put on put in it. Definitely gonna be like jewelry or something. Then um wow, I have a Zertex sitting up there. It's not Molly, guys. Calm down. Um, but I have a, another jewelry organizer. This I got from Ross a while back. Um, this, these little three things holds the rings. These are organized by um, size rings, slinky rings, the ones that you can anybody could wear because they have that chain to them. And these are uh, big statement rings. And then this side, I just have dainty necklaces, um, some of my chain earrings that I got from H&M and then this side I really don't use um, the rings are supposed to go here but as you can see yeah just one and then earrings are, are supposed to go here speaking of rings which I didn't even show you guys I actually have more rings in there it's a whole ring organizer I have two of these actually the other one is out in the living room um, but that's the rest of my rings and this isn't a real vanity this is actually a writing table but because it is super inexpensive and it's black um that's why i got this one i don't remember, I don't remember where i got it from uh, and then up here i have the hello kitty mirror um that i so desperately want i don't even use it because i'm scared i'm going to drop it and break it but this um my ex-boyfriend actually got me i want to say a couple of years ago um but i love it and thank you so much for getting that for me because I definitely wasn't going to buy it myself and um, I have a, a vase up here I have it over on this one too and this whole set I made myself I just got it all from Michaels and okay and then over here is my earring collection um, they're organized by pearls earrings that I wear daily these two right here are earring uh racks that I really don't wear these daily slash their statement earrings so these I wear like every blue moon um, or seasonal and then the last one back there those are earrings that I wear the bottom ones are earrings that I wear daily the top are just randomness um, and then this little pot right here is actually filled with USB ports and memory cards um, in my new place hopefully that will go in the office area I, we have an office here but it's more so my roommate so I really don't want my stuff on her desk just in case something comes up missing because there's like important information on those so that pretty much sums it up uh, I know I'm not going to show you my bathroom but I just want to show you my belt collection I have way too many belts but a lot of the clothes I used to get like came with the belt like everything came with the belt so um, this is from Ikea the actual belt holder and they're all organized by black belts. Um, these would be like belts with prints. These are fabric belts, braided belts. Then we have like the more giant belts at the bottom just to make it really easy for me to find belts. So that sums it up for my room tour and my current apartment. My room will look pretty different in my new one because I am, like I said, trying to get a new bed. And of course, in my new apartment, I said I want to do the whole floating bookshelves on one side of the wall. I'm also planning to get rid of the cubes and put floating shelves on both sides of the bed. I don't want a nightstand. I feel like nightstands are too bulky and in the way. But if I get floating shelves on each side, I'll be perfectly fine. Um, and the reason why I got these is because they can actually hold stuff in them. Whereas nightstands, you can only put little dainty stuff. But like I said, this one holds overstock makeup. And if you could see inside there, it's like tons of beauty products. And the other side holds a whole like load of white top. So those are convenient. But I think I want to upgrade to floating shelves in my new place. So that sums it up for my room tour i hope you all enjoyed this room tour if you have any questions or you want to know any names of things um definitely comment down below and like i said i'm going to be listing some of this on craigslist um, and on ebay so those links will be down below as well i will see you all later thanks